guys so today I decided to film a chit chat get ready with me type video so I hope you enjoy and if you want to get this look then just carry on watching so I've already applied my moisturizer so now I'm just gonna jump straight into primer the primer I'm using today is the Australis primer nothing special about it really and I will be applying it with a wet Real Techniques miracle complexion sponge I believe it's what it's called so I just squeeze a bit onto you can see I'm running out. <sighs> okay. Maybe not that much, but usually a little bit less than that. So I usually just sweep it across my face first and then I go back and pat it in. While my primer sets, I like to put a white eyeliner into my waterline. This just helps my eyes look a bit more awake and this section tends to get really red for some reason. I would just poke myself with this. I know you're not supposed to pull down your eye but I'll stab my eye if I don't do it that way. The foundation I'm using today is the Natio... Natio... can't even find the viewfinder. There we go. The Natio Pure Mineral Foundation. For me that's coming up backwards so maybe it will for you too and again I'm just taking it on the wet sponge well actually I pour squeeze a bit out onto my hand you can see and then I just put it all over my face as you do with foundation then I'm just patting that in after foundation I like to move on to concealer I'm using the Dr. Lewin's Age no anti-aging concealer in pink base so I just squeeze at the thing and just could hardly see this side triangle into a bit of a triangle shape I can't even see what shape that is there we go okay that's good enough lid back on then we just pat it in I'm so weird I always apply it to this eye first but then I pat it in on this eye first is that weird or am I just being weird for saying it's weird I don't like putting powder straight on after I've done <laughs> after I've done my foundation and concealer so I like to move on to my eyebrows so for this I'm using the essence eyebrow designer in dark brown no just brown O2 brown just get in my mirror scooch a little closer so you guys can see just brushing my eyebrows aren't the same shape which is really annoying so I try and make them the same shape it doesn't work I don't think it's ever actually worked for me at all I don't even know. Ah, we'll just go with that. And then I like to lift up my eyebrows for some reason. Just trail along the bottom. Along the top. Middle. Uh, it always looks so different in the mini mirror and the, like this type of mirror and then the bigger one that you're, you're looking at. Okay, I'm happy with that, sort of. And this I am, but I'm not all too. But we'll go with it. Let's see, the other eyebrow is the tricky part. Oh, I did a bit too dark. So now I'm going to apply my powder. I'm using the Australis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder. Yeah, it's just a white translucent powder. Oh. See any of that coming up? Can't really tilt it very well. 
some on the lid. That's way too much. You like only need the littlest bit. So just take my powder brush. I'm using a BH, BH Cosmetics one. If you can't see this full of powder, just full of coming up. I don't think you can. Oh, I'm not delusional, guys. It's like I love this powder because it just makes your skin so soft. But <laughs> try not to breathe in when you're going underneath your nose, by the way, because you're going to need to sneeze so badly. Next, I'm going to apply bronzer to just add a bit of more dimension to my face. I'm using the BH Cosmetics Bombshell Bronze in Starlet, I think. Sorry, my thing's rubbed off a bit. I really like this because it's, it's, I think it's really good for pale skin because it's like, it's not too dark and it's not really orangey. I don't think it's orangey at all. But it's just really nice and it adds such a nice glow to your face. Oh. Again, I'm using another BH Cosmetics brush if I didn't already say that. Now I'm applying blush. This is... Oh, it's a Chi Chi blush but it came in like this big palette that gave you different options for all their other palettes that they have. So I think this came with the smoky bit palette. This pops out so you can travel with it. Very nice. Oh, yeah, but I really just like it because it's like a really nice dusty pink type colour. So I'm just taking that on a Nude by Nature brush. And I don't smile when I do it. Because like your blush can just end up falling down here if you do that. I think... I don't even know what I do. I just move my face to the opposite side. Now I'm going to apply my Essence So Glow Powder. Not powder, cream to powder highlighter. It's in Look on the Bright Side. Cute name. So just take that on my fingers and then just... You, you know what I mean. Blend it out, that's what I mean. Whoa. Now I'm just going to prime my eyes with the BH Cosmetics ones. I've had this for like more than a year. I got it in 2013 Christmas. So, long time ago. And I still have like plenty more left. Now that I've let my eye primer sit for a little bit, it's the same as primer, so you do want to let it sit for a little bit so it doesn't crease throughout the day. I'm taking, this is the Chi Chi big palette thing that I was talking about. And I'm, if I can open it, it would be a good thing. I'm taking the top middle one out. It's easier to do it that way. Just setting that down. Sorry about going out of, no, I see it's just the nice, I think it, this one is the, Bases palette. So I'm going to take this colour up here, just the nice light matte pink colour. Gotta look at the camera or in the lens. And I'll just put that on. It's just very, very light, like bases obviously. But I wanted to go for really not anything eye today and a bolder lip with a wing though not a wing i'm doing a wing i might be doing a wing i'm putting eyeliner on <laughs> oh my god i should not be allowed to talk i honestly think that's the only eyeshadow that i'm actually going to do today so now i'm taking an eyeliner it's the bourgeois mega liner yeah in black Oh, I should probably move a little bit closer for this, shouldn't I? Oh, it's comfortable. Take my mirror. Kind of wanted to do like a line type thing. Like if you watch Bub's Beauty, then she knows she does this puppy that. Ow! You know she does this puppy eye dog look. And I really like it, but I haven't been able to master it yet. Oh, actually, it's really difficult, but. I'm just taking inspiration from her. 
So I'm just going to draw a line like that. Draw a line up there. The profile line is scary. How we're going so far. And then just draw it all the way up. I feel like I should turn this off before I mug up. Okay, so now that my eyeliner is sort of okay, I'm going to set my makeup with the Australis Makeup Finishing Spritz. I thought it was Spritz. <sighs> Refreshing. While I let that sit in, set in, I'm just going to put a bit of lip balm on using the Body Shop Apple. Now that that's set, Sorry, just trying to adjust you. Now that that's set, I'm just going to give my lashes a curl and then apply mascara. So I'll jump off screen to curl my lashes because I know that some people find it squeamish and it takes me a while to curl mine. Now that my lashes are nice and curled, I'm going to apply the Too Faced Better Than Mix, Better Than Mix Mascara. Yep. Better Than Sex Mascara. I really like this because it actually holds my curl. I'm gonna do it to mascara wall. Ooh, go, 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 go. Where do I go? Where go? Dumb. Unfortunately, they don't stay up that high. Wish they would. I really love this mascara. Now for the piece de resistance. I don't even know if I said that right. The lipstick. So I'm using a Too Faced Melted Lipstick in Melted Fig. Ugh, the only one I own. But, <clears throat> oh, I can't speak. Oh, I hate it when there's a little bit of dry skin there. So that's it for the video today, guys. I really actually do like this makeup, and I hope you do too. I think I'm going to maybe wear this to work tomorrow. Um, yeah, so it would mean the world to me if you liked this video and subscribed to my channel. Hey, bye!